Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. In a world that is constantly changing, where military power is often measured by technological advancements, Iran has demonstrated its ability to compete on the global stage by revealing their latest drone, the Mohajer 10. This unmanned aircraft, proudly announced by Iran, is not just an improvement over its predecessor. It carries significant potential to alter the power dynamics in the Middle East region. With the capability to carry heavy payloads and advanced technology, this drone not only enhances Iran's offensive capabilities, but also raises critical questions about how other countries, especially Israel, might respond to Iran's military advancements. The revelation of the Mohajer 10 comes shortly after Israel criticized Iran for allegedly funding attacks against its citizens, adding a new layer of tension to existing conflicts. We will delve into the advanced features of the Mohajer 10, explore its strategic role in Iran's military ambitions, and its implications for the fragile regional stability, where every move can have profound consequences for the balance of power in the region and international security. In a significant display of military strength, Iran has unveiled its latest innovation in unmanned aerial warfare, the Mohajer 10 drone. The Islamic Republic state media confidently promotes the capabilities of this drone, particularly highlighting its extended operational range of up to 2,000 kilometers, a significant advancement that enhances Iran's surveillance and attack capabilities. This range is more than just a number. It signifies the potential to reach distant targets beyond Iran's borders, raising critical questions about regional security dynamics and the balance of power in the Middle East. The Mohajer 10, surpassing its predecessor, the Mohajer 6, is designed to carry payloads of up to 300 kilograms, effectively doubling the capacity of the previous model. This substantial increase in payload capacity not only showcases Iran's drone technology advancements, but also sends a clear signal of Iran's intent to enhance its offensive capabilities. The strategic implications of such an enhancement are profound, as it allows for the use of various munitions and equipment, broadly expanding the drone's mission capabilities. However, the greatness of the Mohajer 10 extends beyond its impressive payload capacity. This drone is equipped with a 450-litre fuel tank, propelling it to a maximum speed of 130 miles per hour and, when combined with its advanced endurance capabilities, allowing the drone to remain in the air for a full day. Its operational ceiling of 7 kilometers further expands its utility, enabling it to operate comfortably above commercial air traffic, enhancing its survivability and operational flexibility. The combination of speed, endurance and altitude capabilities makes the Mohajer 10 a versatile tool in Iran's military arsenal, suitable for a range of missions from extended reconnaissance to precision strikes. The sophistication of the Mohajer 10 becomes even more evident through its weaponry. This drone is equipped with a range of smart bombs, offering pinpoint accuracy, creating a formidable arsenal that elevates its role from mere surveillance to an active combatant. Additionally, the integration of electronic warfare systems and intelligence gathering technology positions the Mohajer 10 as a significant force multiplier for Iran capable of conducting complex operations that combine elements of electronic warfare, intelligence gathering, reconnaissance and kinetic actions. The unveiling of the Mohajer 10, set against the backdrop of Iran's advanced drone exhibition at the 2023 Army Defense Expo in Russia, marks a significant moment in Iran's military evolution. This latest drone joins Iran's UAV lineup including models like Arash, Ababil 5, Karar, and the Shaheen Hybrid, underscoring the nation's growing UAV technology and its commitment to enhancing unmanned combat capabilities independently. 
These successive unveilings not only demonstrate Iran's progress in UAV development, but also signify its determination to project power and influence in the region. During the Defense Industry Day ceremony in Tehran, attended by President Ebrahim Raisi and senior military officials, Iran introduced the Mohajer 10. Alongside this launch, the new weapons carried by the Mohajer 10 were also showcased. A video of a successful test flight from an undisclosed location was released and published by local media, marking a significant step in the expansion of Iran's arsenal of unmanned weaponry. This drone operates at an operational altitude of 24,000 feet or 7,300 meters with a maximum flight endurance of up to 24 hours while carrying ammunition. Its maximum operational range of 2,000 kilometers covers the entire Western Asia, Central Asia and South Asia regions, as well as parts of Southeast Asia and Eastern Europe. This indicates that the Mohajer 10 is a high-endurance, medium-altitude, unmanned aerial vehicle, male, capable of operating in various terrains and different geographical conditions. The ceremonial model of the Mohajer 10 is presented with three missiles on two hardpoints on both wings, six missiles in total on four hardpoints. However, a view from below reveals that each wing has three hardpoints and possibly an additional one under the aircraft's body. With these seven hardpoints, nine if expanded, and a maximum payload of 300 kilograms, the Mahajer 10 can carry various configurations of guided bombs and long-range missiles, demonstrating flexibility and adaptability to various combat scenarios. In terms of design, dimensions and performance, the Mahajer 10 closely resembles the Shahed 129 and Kaman 22, but they feature a high wing configuration and have a longer declared range of up to 3,000 kilometers. Additionally, these models are produced by the Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industrial Company, HISA, or MSA Institute, while the Mohajer 10 is manufactured by the CODS Aviation Industry Company. The Mohajer 10 is the first model in the Mohajer series to incorporate SATCOM domes, and its greatest asset lies in the combination of intelligence, reconnaissance and surveillance ISR, capabilities with new long-range bombs and missiles. Amidst the technological advancements, Iran's drone capabilities with the unveiling of the Mohajer 10 have complexly shifted and potentially destabilized regional stability in the Middle East. Iran's warnings of regional escalation if Israeli forces invade Gaza by land underscore the risk of a broader conflict. The grim warning from Iran's foreign minister, Hossein Amir Abdullahian, that the deadlock in stopping Israel's attacks could open many other fronts, highlights a dangerous scenario where the capabilities of Mohajer 10 could play a significant destabilizing role. Tehran's rhetoric is escalating tensions, with President Ebrahim Raisi pledging to turn Gaza into a graveyard for the occupiers if Israel decides to enter, a statement that significantly raises the stakes. This is happening against the backdrop of devastating attacks in Gaza, with a terrible humanitarian crisis unfolding as casualties and displacement increase. Regional volatility is exacerbated by the involvement of advanced drones like the Mohajer 10, significantly enhancing Iran's military reach and proxy capabilities, potentially leading to a larger military escalation with Israel. Iran's diplomatic maneuvers, aimed at stopping Israeli attacks, reflect a broader strategic game, with Tehran using its sophisticated military hardware as leverage. Visits to Iraq, Lebanon and Syria by Amir Abdullahian, along with discussions with Hamas leadership, indicate coordinated efforts to consolidate regional opposition to perceived Israeli aggression. The threat that the battlefield scope could expand if the attacks continue, as mentioned to the Emir of Qatar, underscores the delicate balance that now exists.
The new long-range capabilities of the Mahaja-10 serve to strengthen Iran's deterrent power, but also have the potential to trigger further conflict if regional tensions are not carefully managed. Amidst these tense relations, Iran's reports warn Israel through the UN not to further escalate the Gaza conflict while also preparing to respond if the attacks persist, depicting a delicate diplomatic and military game. This balance is on a knife's edge, with the potential repercussions extending far beyond the immediate region. Israel's recent limited strikes in Gaza, countering drone attacks from Hamas, accused of being backed by Iran, demonstrate the real and present danger of a wider confrontation. The Mohajer 10, with its significant range and payload, could alter the conflict calculus, making stability maintenance in the region a more challenging endeavor. Benam Ben Talablu, a senior fellow at FDD, argues that despite unverified claims about the latest Mohajer's range, speed, altitude, potential bomb array, and maximum payload, Tehran's intent to upgrade its oldest drone class, dating back to the Iran-Iraq war, should not be underestimated. The Mohajer 10 bears a strong resemblance to the American MQ-9A Reaper drone, one of which killed Qasem Soleimani in 2020. Although the extent to which the Mohajer 10 mimics the Reaper is not yet certain, Tehran has a history of capturing and reverse engineering US drones. Iran's unmanned aerial vehicle program has produced several types of drones, with the Mohajer line first operationalized in 1985. Unlike the Shahed series drones better known as suicide drones that Iran has supplied to Russia, the versatile Mohajer can return after completing its mission and be rearmed. The range of the Mohajer 10 enables Iran to attack Israel from its own territory rather than using proxies in Syria and Lebanon, which are vulnerable to Israeli airstrikes. Iran has denied direct involvement in Hamas operations, but has expressed support for it, with implied support for Hamas operations, demonstrating the complexity of its regional relationships and how drones like the Mohajer 10 can impact the balance of power. These recent developments underscore the importance of diplomacy and arms control in preventing further escalation. In this conflict maze, advanced drones like the Mohajer 10 not only offer military advantages, but also become a key element in the struggle for power and influence in a turbulent region.